Hey YouTube, in this video I figured we'd go ahead and cover a very important subject when it comes to 3D printing, safety. We're going to go over some things you can test, some things you can do to help make sure that your 3D printing is safe as possible, some things about remote monitoring, and we'll get to it right after this. Okay guys, so what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to do a thermal runway test at home on your 3D printer. And you're only going to need one thing, you're going to need to borrow your wife's blow dryer. It's really easy to do, and I'm going to show you how to do it in just a second, but before that, I thought that uh, it maybe do a little beer tasting just to have some fun. So I've got a Schlafly Tasmanian IPA here, one of my favorite IPA beers. So I'm from Indiana. This is a beer that's brewed in St. Louis, Missouri. This is a very good beer. It's made with uh, Galaxy Hops. The IBU is a 65 for you beer snobs out there. It's a 7.2% alcohol by volume. I do consider myself a beer snob. I love IPAs and craft beer. So I thought we'd just do a little beer tasting, have a little bit of fun before we get to this test. Kind of have a little bit of fun with our safety video here that we're doing. Mmm, smells really grapefruity. Oh, it's a damn good beer. Look at that color. Look at the color in that beer. Nice and cloudy, unfiltered. Mmm, just the way I like it. All right, well, now that we've had a sip of our adult beverage, let's get on this test. Okay guys, now that I'm set back up, what I have done is I have went ahead and removed the silicone sock from my extruder just to help make it easier for me to cool it down quick with the blow dryer. I've preheated my hot end to 200 degrees C. It's been sitting here, warmed up for about two minutes now, and I'm doing the best I can to make sure my camera stays focused on the temperature display of the Ender 3 rather than focusing on the hot end because I know this is where all the important stuff is going to take place. So I will edit down the volume of this blow dryer, but I'm going to do a quick test and show you guys how to test for a thermal runaway on your 3D printer and or your Ender 3 Pro or Ender 3, you know, whatever have you 3D printer that you own. So here we go. You want to make sure and use the cold setting. And there we go. I hope you guys can see that, but it does show thermal runaway, printer halted, please reset. So it definitely did put my printer into thermal runaway, which is a safety feature for when you're not at home or you're not in the same room paying attention to your printer. Okay guys, so please bear with me. I do have my phone in handheld mode so that I can move about my room freely and show you guys a couple things I've done to help aid in safety of 3D printing. One of the first things that I did was I incorporated a Wi-Fi smart switch to my 3D printing. Now that is tied into a surge protector rather than just having it plugged into the wall. Now with this, I can kill the power from wherever I am, from my phone, my tablet, when I'm on the road, at work. I can shut power off to my machine if there was to be any issues that I can monitor via my OctoPrint. So these little single board computers, they're about $50 on Amazon. If you set this up to run OctoPrint, you're going to be able to do remote monitoring. So we'll go over remote monitoring a little bit later in the video and show you a couple things we can do 
but that is something that will definitely help because if you're able to look up what your printer is doing live, whether you're at home or on the go, and you see any issues, anything that could be going on with your 3D printer, you can go into the app or your Google Home or Alexa or whatever you have powering the smart devices in your home and kill the power to your Wi-Fi smart switch. The second most important thing that I've done in my opinion is I've added a smoke detector to the room. Every six months when I change my smoke detector batteries, this one gets changed. So that's just another, another little step in making sure that 3D printing is safe in my home for my family and my pets. Another thing that I have to help aid in safety as well as helping with ABS and printing high temp filament is an enclosure. So I mainly print PLA on this machine. I haven't even tried ABS on this machine yet to be totally honest. I do plan on doing it here in the future just to see if it can do it. But I am getting a second printer that is gonna be dedicated for ABS nylon high temp filaments and I'm gonna print inside of this enclosure so nothing's 100 percent nothing's guaranteed but this enclosure is at least flame retardant and should help contain if any mishaps were to happen now in this setup when i put my new printer in here it will have a raspberry pi it will have a camera it will have remote monitoring and it will still be plugged in to the same power strip that has my wi-fi smart switch on it so if there a problem does arise, I can go ahead and shut it down remotely from my phone, my tablet, or at work, or via the internet. And as I said, not only all of this, but the smoke detector in the room, that helps too. That is tremendously important because 3D printing is fun. It's a great hobby. We all want to do it, but we also want to do it safe. You know, no, nobody wants to hear or see about somebody burnt their house down with a 3D printer because they didn't take a couple simple precautions to help make sure everything is safe. We're on the Octoprint interface on my computer. For those of you that are familiar with Octoprint, you probably recognize all this area here. Now, this is fantastic when you're at home because you can monitor your print from downstairs from your phone or your tablet or your computer if it's in another room. The problem is once you're not at home anymore and you need to link into your 3D printer or your Octoprint via the internet, let's say you're at work or you're on the go. So for that, I use a program called the Spaghetti Detective, which I have built into my Raspberry Pi. So from here, you can see that I have a pause and a cancel button. I also have the readings for the temperatures on my bed and my hot end. So this is very important for safety as well here. So not only will this save you money if you end up just printing a bed full of spaghetti, which we've all done, I can come in here and I can hit pause, I can cancel, I can monitor my temperatures from my phone when I'm at work, when I'm on the go. So I think that not only is this a handy tool in order to help you, you know, keep an eye on your 3D printer while you're at home, I think it also adds to the safety of your 3D printer. Now my camera here is very laggy, my feed, I'm running on the free version of Octoprint, or I'm sorry, on the Spaghetti Detective, which only allows you to stream at one frame for 10 seconds. If I go back here to my Octoprint, you can tell that, you know, the camera feed is live. You know, it's streaming live. It's real time what's actually happening. And if I go back into the Spaghetti Detective, you can see that it's just sending one image every 10 seconds, I believe it is. I do plan to upgrade in the future as soon as I get my second printer because I think that this is very handy for me to get in here to pause, to cancel, to monitor my temperatures and forbid anything did happen and my fire detector went off in my house, my smoke, smoke alarm that's in here in my 3D printing room, I can link in to the spaghetti detective. I can check, see what my temperatures are. If there's not an issue here, or I see a failure of some point, you know, whether it's fire or an electrical issue, I can stop or cancel my print. I can pause my print. 
I can also go into my app for my smart switch and I can kill the power to everything. I also have wise cameras throughout the house and those are great because they have a feature in them that if they hear a smoke detector, they will actually send a push notification to your phone. So that's just another little bit of added safety to help make sure that your 3D printing hobby stays safe and keeps your house in one piece. All right, guys, that's it for this week's video. Hope we covered a few things that you guys will be interested in trying on your own to make sure that your 3D printer is safe to operate in your home at all times. Hope you decided to take a couple of these safety features that I've showed you about. I'm going to take another drink of this good Tasmanian IPA from Schlafly. Oh man, that's good beer. Good light mouth feel. Really hoppy. Alright guys, well until next time, take it easy and keep 